I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm getting to that age where my body's starting to crumble. I'm not making this up, but like if something breaks on me, it just kind of stays that way, you know? <laughs> oh, my hip hurts. I guess forever. <laughs> Bang my knee. Guess I'll get used to that pain. <laughs> How you doing, Brian? Not so good anymore. <laughs> Hurting all the time now. I wake up in the morning. Oh, that's right, I hurt. <laughs> I forgot for a 15th of a second. <laughs> Nobody seems to care. I told my doctor, my hip hurts. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Just making small talk, I guess. <laughs> right, well, thanks for coming in today. You're welcome. <laughs> Hobble out. Thanks for coming in an hour and a half late. Was there a purpose to this visit? <laughs> Apparently the sign of a good doctor is not being able to get an appointment with a guy. <laughs> oh, he's a great doctor. You can't even get in to see him. <laughs> he's an amazing doctor. Some people wait six months to see him. <laughs> yes, but I'm bleeding profusely today. <laughs> Do you know any so-so doctors? <laughs> with bandages and such? <laughs> who can deal with blood spurting outwardly from vital organs on the day that is this? <laughs> and how's he good for me? Explain that. Yeah. But when your body starts crumbling, it's cool to be married, you know, because your spouse knows everything about you. They just roll with it. I don't know how you would incorporate the weird physical stuff into a dating rap. How would you slip that stuff in? I'm glad I don't even have to try, you know? Hey, how you doing? I was wondering if you might want to go out on a picnic this afternoon. There's a park on the outside of town. It's beautiful out there. If you don't mind, we could stop at my pharmacy and pick up some pills, because apparently I urinate too frequently. And if we have a little time on our way back, maybe we can stop and get a couple of moles frozen off my calf. <laughs> <laughs>